That's right. What is this? Goat cheese? Instapot? Hmm. Well, hello everyone. How is everyone doing today? I hope really good. This is Eva or Go Go Mama at Highland Homestead and we're in the kitchen. Obviously, I have all my stuff out. We are going to make an Instapot cheesecake today. Doesn't that sound good? But instead of using cream cheese in it, we are going to add goat cheese along with the cream cheese today. So come and join me. Click on that like, come and check us out, and follow along. So the first thing that you're going to do for this recipe <clears throat> is you have your Instant Pot Bowl, you have this, and you're going to take some tin foil and you're just going to fold it up just like this in three parts one two three and this goes down inside here and sits down inside here so that you're able to pull out the cheesecake when it's done okay now on to the graham cracker crust we have one bag of graham crackers here. We're going to smash these all up, just like this. You're gonna take a baggie like this. Actually, you're gonna close it first. And you're gonna just smash these all up. Just like that, guys. And I'll bring you back. So we've got our graham crackers all done up here. We have got two teaspoons of salt and a tablespoon and a half of brown sugar. Salt gives the crust a little pop of flavor in the cheesecake. Shh. Don't tell anybody. So we're going to put this all in a bowl and we're going to stir this up. And I'm just going to use a good old fork. Now we have a fourth of a cup of flour and three tablespoons of melted butter and this will be our binding agents for the bottom. We are going to stir these in. And I will give you the recipe for this in the description below. And I'm hoping that you all will enjoy this and try to make it yourselves. Now we're gonna mix this together until it binds together in clumps. Now 
Now, as you all know, I'm starting to just, just starting to cook in my Instapot here. So this was a fun recipe that my sister gave me. And my sister did this with my daughter. And I thought I'd make it for you all. Okay. So now, as you can see here, we have a Bundt Cake insert for our Instapot. Okay? You're gonna take the Bundt Cake part out of it and just use the outside. And I have taken parchment paper, I have cut it all around the edges and put it to the inside of this Bundt Cake pan. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to put this into the bunk cake pan and we are going to make sure it is solid and we're going to use another implement for that. So we're gonna take our spoon and we are just gonna press and keep on pressing until it is nice and firm. And I'll bring you back. So this is what it'll look like. Now we're going to put this crust in the freezer for about 30 minutes as we're doing our center of the cheesecake. So now we have cornstarch, two tablespoons in a small bowl, a pinch of salt, and two thirds sugar. and we will mix this up with our fork. And I will bring you back. Now we have added eight ounces of cream cheese and about eight ounces, give or take, of goat cheese. And this is the Chev cheese. This is the best cheese that you can get from your goat's milk, I think. Wonderful cheese. And I will show you what it looks like. It looks exactly like cream cheese. This has been in the freezer. And a lot of times we'll use this cheese with and heat it up just a tad with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of dill or oregano, whatever you'd like, a little, and serve it with cheese and crackers. It is the best. It's almost like the Golden Gate Bridge of cream cheese. Just kidding. So we're going to use this today in here. I'm going to open this up. I want to show you. what it looks like. It's just regular, it looks like cream cheese, guys. Mm. Yummy. We are gonna, we're gonna, I'll cut that out. 
We're going to beat this for about 10 to 20 seconds. that it's all together. Okay, now we're gonna add half of this mixture that we already had into here. And we're gonna beat it some more. You don't want to overbeat your cheesecake ever, okay, guys? Add a little bit more, or the rest of it, and beat for another 10 to 30 seconds. Now we're going to scrape down this bowl. And then we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and a half a cup of sour cream. And we're going to mix this all together. get our chicken eggs from our homestead we are going to put these in a bowl make sure that they're clean and pop them in there and we were are going to mix this all in Now we have taken our crust out of the freezer that has sat in the freezer for 30 minutes. And our lovely bake, we are going to pour this into our pan. Very gently, you guys. You don't want it to get all over the sides. We're going to tap this down to get any air bubbles out. So on your Instapot, you're going to press the pressure cook 28 minutes and on. Once this water starts boiling in here, we're going to place our cheesecake in there. Yeah, don't forget to add the water. It won't boil without the water. So we're going to wait for that to boil and then we're going to place the the water is boiling. We're going to place our 
cheesecake in here. I hear it boiling. I'm going to add the lid. Hear it click. And then we are going to turn this, make sure it's turned, the vent is on. And then it's 28 minutes and we wait. Okay guys, our Instapot has beeped. It says end. Our little thingy here is done and our steamer is all done. So let's open it up. Away from you. Oh, this looks absolutely lovely. So here's the cheesecake and we're going to let this sit for 15 to 20 minutes. We're going to open this up and then put it in the fridge overnight for the next day. It should be in the fridge for four to six hours. I will show you after we're done. So as you guys can see, this is all cooled. We're gonna take this off. We are going to take this off and see, and bring this down. Off of there and we're just gonna let this cool a little bit it tastes wonderful and pop this in the fridge this looks so good like subscribe and hit that little bell I can't wait to taste it